Hi guys, Olive here. We are about to enter the very best month of the year, October. I am so ready for a chill in the air, John of Gold apples, and wearing fuzzy slippers as I curl up with a good book. And while I'm not entirely in control of when those first two things come to fruition, I definitely can tell you the books I'm hoping to read during the month of October. Since it is spooky season, I do have some darker books on the menu to fiction and to nonfiction. One book that's been sitting on my shelf for far too long that I am finally ready to pick up is Her Fearful Symmetry by Audrey Niffenegger. This is the story of a set of twins, two teenage girls who inherit their aunt's flat, which borders the Highgate Cemetery in London. After they move in, they start to get to know the eccentric other residents of the building, which may or may not include their aunt's ghost. Obviously, if there's a ghost involved, this one will probably have a vibe that is perfect for this time of year. I'm excited to finally get to this one. And similarly, I'm also hoping to pick up Lincoln in the Bardo by George Saunders. I just talked about this one in my fall fiction haul. This book is set in between this life and the next, and in it we see President Lincoln grieving the loss of his young son. This one not only won the Booker Prize, but has received praise all over the place. I've heard tons of booktubers say how much they love this book. And also a former co-worker of mine read this the year it was released and told me because he knew that I was a book person how much he loved it. I really wish I still worked with him so I could tell him I'm finally reading it. Oh well. And then on the nonfiction side, I'm planning on reading The Buried Soul, How Humans Invented Death by Timothy Taylor. This discusses death rites and rituals across history. I suppose since I'm now entirely out of Caitlin Doty books to read, this will scratch the itch for a good death book. That was a weird thing to say. But also on the morbid theme, I would also like to pick up Magnificent Corpses by Annalie Rufus. This is all about how body parts of saints or other sacred figures can become revered objects in the Western worlds. So creepy, but also spiritual. I'm intrigued. Then since it is going to be October, it is once again time to start preparing for Victober, which in case you didn't know is a month-long readathon hosted by Kate Howe, Katie from Books and Things, Lucy from Lucy the Reader, and Ange from Beyond the Pages. During the month of October, they challenged the booktube community to read Victorian literature, which I love to do. I will definitely be doing this month, but I'm also going to put a little bit of a spin on it because that's kind of who I am. I specifically saved The Woman in White by Wilkie Collins from my classics TBR to read during Victober. I really enjoyed The Moonstone last year, and I've been really intrigued by this book, which is all about a man who out of nowhere encounters a woman dressed entirely in white and spends the rest of the book trying to determine her identity. It's a piece of Victorian literature, so perfect for Victober, but also seems to be very gothic, so perfect just for October in general. And then I'm also very interested in picking up Lady Audley's Secrets by Mary Mary Elizabeth Braddon, which is a Victorian sensationalist novel with a creepy atmosphere, and I actually hear it's quite similar to The Woman in White, so I'll be taking them on in the same month. The twist that I'm putting on Victober is not anything shocking, it's just that I don't want to read exclusively Victorian fiction during the month. I also want to sneak in two nonfiction books on the Victorian era. The first of those is Ungovernable, The Victorian Parent's Guide to Raising Flawless Children by Therese O'Neill. If you've been around this channel for a length of time, you may remember remember that a while back I read and loved O'Neill's previous book called Unmentionable, which was all about the realities of life for women in the Victorian era. It was educational and it was hilarious. And this is basically the same type of thing, except its focus is on having and raising kids. I have been so excited to read this ever since I heard it was a thing. And then there's a new release coming out in early November that I'm considering getting a head start on during Victober. That book is called The Wonders, The Extraordinary Performers Who Transformed the Victorian Age by John Wolfe. This is all about the Victorian obsession with otherness and how that translated into a frankly really problematic fascination with people who had physical disabilities or deformities, who performed or were merely treated as spectacles during this period. I've personally been thinking a lot more about the topic of physical disabilities and deformities ever since Jen Campbell started making videos on it a few years back. I actually may go back and watch some of her videos in preparation for reading this book. I really hope the author comes at this topic with that same kind of lens, but in any event, I'm planning to write about it after I read it. And then there are three new releases due to come out in October that I would really like to read and then write about. This first one I can barely contain my excitement about. That is The Body, A Guide for Occupants by Bill Bryson. This is the popular nonfiction writer's new book that is all about, well, 
the human body. I was practicing my narration on the first chapter of this and it is amazing. I cannot wait to keep going. The next book is absolutely gorgeous and it's another one that I cannot wait to get to. It's called How to Catch a Mole, Wisdom from a Life Lived in Nature by Mark Hammer. This is a type of memoir of a man who formerly made his living catching and killing moles. He eventually decided to leave the profession and these are his reflections on what his time in nature gave to him, but also what the nature of the profession took away from him. It seems beautiful. And then lastly, I am considering reading and reviewing 90s music icon Liz Fair's new memoir called Horror Stories. This is the story of her life and her career, and the excerpts I've read have some really pretty writing in them. So we'll see how this one goes. So those are all the books I'm hoping to put into my brain during the month of October. I would love to hear from you if you've read any of these books. Have you heard of any of them? Or would you now like to read them after hearing me talk about them? You can put that or any other comments or questions you may have down in the comment section below. But if you'd like to connect with me elsewhere, I am on a variety of different places on social media, and the links to all of those profiles are in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!